We're back with major development in Midtown with at least six different residential projects underway. One of the latest at 36th and Jones. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone is there with this new story tonight. Mowing into Midtown. So this was the site uh, in, uh, let, let's say, in January of 2014. Getting ready to break ground on 150 new apartments and underground parking at 36th and Jones. It was really just a dream to say, what could we do here? Mark Jepson with Commercial Investment Properties says the company has most of its apartments in suburban areas of Omaha and Lincoln. Oh, we haven't done a lot downtown. This, is, this would be our first, uh, what, what you would call, infill project. This historic neighborhood looked like the perfect place to start. It'll be targeted to professionals. There's huge job growth going on right now in, in Midtown, uh, UNMC and a, a large number of other employers, and, and we hope to, uh, to be a part of that. As you know, uh, the world is changing. Yeah. More people are choosing to live uh, in urban environments, and so we think it's a great transition for us into a great neighborhood. It's been a great neighborhood for Lillian's Flowers, which set up shop at 35th and Leavenworth back in 1952. The whole building was bought a year ago. Now Lillian's Flowers owner, Mary Blankenship, who leases this space, says her shop will be part of the growth. The new owner updating the building. And he's got big plans for this corner. And she's happy to see new life down the street at 36th and Jones. I think it's good. More traffic. More customers, more money. So I think it's really going to clean up this uh, part of the city. For Jepson, he's excited, embracing the old and new in this neighborhood. When you go into a historic neighborhood, you don't want to try to match what was there because it's very hard to to uh, to do that in 2015. But you want to be respectful of what was done 100 years ago. Reporting in Omaha, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7. The owner of Mary Blankenship's building tells KETV News Watch 7 he has purchased the two surrounding buildings as well. Long term plans include creating some commercial and residential space at 36th and Jones. Well, the road